you two wanted to stand before this, this great family of yours. And whether you're family by, by blood or whether you're family just by choice and by love, rest assured, all of you here today are family. But you wanted to stand before this family and before the God of all creation and declare that you want to honor that inscrutable gift that he's given us all. This glimpse at, at what's his amazing, undeserved love. My dearest Melanie, I promise to always love you and show how much I love you. I promise to be there for you at your highs and lows, to listen and provide guidance. I promise to be your light on your darkest days and continue to make you laugh. When we first met, I was broken, lost, and didn't have hope I would ever be whole again. I am so thankful you came into my life when I needed you the most. You truly saved me. Your patience allows, patience allows me to grow in ways I didn't think possible. Your selflessness and passion to help others is done with so much grace. You love so boldly, deeply, and proudly. It is constant, and I can finally and forever say, I am so loved and so in love. I promise to always be there for you, to love you fiercely, to be patient through growth, and be your constant. Colossians verse, chapter 3 verses 14 and 15 it says and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful I vow to support you and always root for you this is my vow and promise to you. I love you with all my heart and cannot wait to see my future walk towards me and start our lives as husband and wife. You are the one and always have been the one, Melanie Jo Orbiano. I vow to walk before you in times when your faith is shaken and I will be there to guide you through to find your strength. I vow to walk behind you for when you stumble, I will be there to catch you and never let you fall. But most importantly, I vow to walk next to you, to do this life together, hand in hand, and be each other's strengths, confidant, and joy. I am so happy, honored, and humbled to do this life with you as your wife. I love you now. privilege to pronounce you in the eyes of the world and even more in the eyes of God, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I invite you to show your joy as I present to you the miracle of God's creation, the new person of Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Orbiano. Andrew came to me and asked me if I could be his best man. It was in the form of an envelope. And I, 
This was my face. And I was expecting, uh, bro, I can't wait. I can't wait till you're by my side on my day. It wasn't, it wasn't anything like that. It was, his, his first words were, I am so afraid of what you're going to say at my reception. I have always wanted a brother and I could not have picked a better guy. So thanks a lot. I can honestly say that you are the most genuine, kind, loving man how much you love Mel, which is really all a big sister can ask for. Truth is, you were meant for each other, and it's pretty obvious. And you raise each other up, you support and motivate one another, you inspire each other, and you encourage each other to be better versions of yourself. On behalf of my family and everybody here, I'm wishing you all the very best. Um, I'm looking forward to the future. Cheers, not only to low-key plug AFC South champions, but more importantly, Andrew and Mel, because I think this is probably the better win today. So Mel and Andrew, your hearts truly are the same, and your souls are one, and you were destined to be together, and I couldn't be happier for you tonight. So this January, y'all got married. And cheers to your love and have fun tonight. I love you.